Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scooter Buyo playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC Edition and this is the 13th in a series of videos in which I conquer an ocean monument. Uh, in this video I will be demonstrating how to remove the water from the lower passageway. Uh, that is the uh, passageway that goes all around the uh, outside of the ocean monument near the bottom. Uh, but if you are looking for another part of the strategy in action, a link to the other videos in this series will be, uh, can be found in the description. Uh, okay, so uh, the, in the previous video, I cleared out all of the water from the, uh, uh, from the pillar room wing. Uh, that's this uh, wing over here. That's where I started clearing the water from the lower part of the ocean monument. Uh, and uh, I'm going to continue now uh, from where I left off, uh, and that's going down the lower passageway that's very dark out here right now. <laughs> I can't really see anything. Uh, I'm going to continue uh, removing the water uh, from the lower passageway there. Uh, now, the lower passageway does need to be split uh, because it's very wide, uh, and uh, removing water from, uh, from that kind of a width is, is difficult without some kind of scaffolding. Uh, so I'm going to continue be, uh, using sand and sugar canes. Uh, and where I want to start is with this, uh, with this pillar with a sea lantern on it. Uh, and this is where I'm going to step over uh, and start uh, con and uh, continue placing sand, uh, and I should end uh, in the back corner of the um, uh, of the lower passageway here, uh, right up against a, a plus-shaped pillar. So uh, I'm going to just uh, start placing my sand and sugar canes um, as long as I stay out of the uh, as long as I stay out of the um, uh, sorry, as long as we stay in the sugar canes, guardians are not going to attack me. Uh, now, it, it is pretty dark down here. It's getting, uh, it's getting darker. Uh, so I'm going to reach out and place a couple of jack-o'-lanterns. I can place them on either side, but I want to make sure that I leave a gap in between my sand and where I place the jack-o'-lanterns. So right there is fine, and right there is fine, uh, but not right there. And I can continue uh, placing sand and sugar canes all the way down to that pillar. It gets too dark, I just reach out, place a jack-o'-lantern, place a jack-o'-lantern. I can have uh, quite a few jack-o'-lanterns, so I can place as many as I want. Continue with sand and sugar canes. Uh, can't quite see the pillar yet. Just come into view pretty soon. I'm basically going all the way down the side of the uh, side of the ocean monument near the bottom uh, because the uh, uh, because the uh, uh, the lower passageway basically wraps around. A couple more jack o' lanterns. And I think I'm starting to see it over there. It's probably a little hard to see on the video. Oh, there it is. It's right in front of me. So finish placing my sand. And I should bump up right against this pillar. Um, the pillar is a plus shape, so um, let me get another jack-o'-lantern here. Uh, the pillar is this plus shape, so it's got uh, kind of a, a, a corner missing from it. Uh, and I should bump right up against the uh, uh, the um, one of the extensions of the plus shape. So, uh, and uh, now I've got my sugar canes all the way down here. Uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and um, create a little bit of a break uh, for the passageway as it extends around the back. Uh, now the passageway as it extends around the back uh, is much narrower than it is right here. Uh, Let's um, go take a look at that. So this is the this is the entrance uh, to that lower passageway. It's pretty dark right now; can't see anything. Um, but it's much narrower than uh, than the pa than the lower passageway on the sides. Uh, and I'm going to just block this off with sand and sugar canes. Uh, too high space here, uh, and and it's basically that. The, uh, that's it. it. This is as high as it is. This is as wide as it is. So it's pretty narrow. Um, uh, and before I hit that, I'm gonna go uh, go ahead and remove the water from this area first. Head back down to where I left off, and I've got two sides of this passageway. Um, 
I'm going to start with the, the outer side here. Uh, just hit the, uh, 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 put the, sp the sponge right up there in the upper corner. And uh, following the same procedure that I've been using uh, for the um, uh, for the other parts uh, for the upper passageway and the uh, the pillar room wing, I just hit a sponge on the uh, highest flowing water block, and that's going to clear out a decent amount of water. Not uh, completely is not uh, as efficient as it could be, uh, but it's a very simple rule to follow, a uh, very easy procedure. Okay, coming back down here. Um, now this um, uh, this side uh, actually is um, uh, is even one block higher. Uh, there's a single block that's a bit hard to see up there. There's a single block uh, uh, width up here, um, uh, right up here. So there's a single block of width, uh, and um, there's a um, two blocks of width here. Uh, and three blocks of width here, so it's got kind of a, a triangular shape as it goes up. Uh, I'm not going to put a sponge all the way at the top. Uh, I'm going to put a sponge uh, on its one block down from the highest block, uh, right in the corner there. Uh, let me place that first one, now we can see a little bit better. Okay, so here is what I was talking about, um, uh, all the way at the top, it's just one block wide, here it's two blocks wide. I'm going to be placing sponges uh, at the um, at the two block wide section rather than all the way up here, uh, just because it's a little bit more efficient. Uh, although um, you could place it all the way up if you wanted. Okay, so highest flowing water block, highest flowing water block. This takes a few more sponges to clear out uh, because it is a larger volume of water. Okay. Highest flow water block right there. And uh, we've reached the pillar. I'm going to um, continue placing sponges here to uh, uh, remove the water from around the pillar. So a little bit left, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, it looks like that, uh, that removed all of the water. Sometimes there's a source block or two uh, floating around that can be easily picked up by a bucket or removed with a torch. Um, uh, so that is uh, one side of the um, of the lower passageway done. Um, I probably want to get out some torches and uh, light this guy up a little bit as I remove these jack lanterns because there are no sea lanterns down here to light anything up uh, along in this passageway. So as I remove things, uh, in particular as I remove the jack lanterns, it's going to get dark. So. I probably want to drop a few torches around. Um, again, there's no need to worry about uh, mob spawning uh, because the only hostile mobs that can spawn in the volume of an ocean monument are guardians. Uh, so the only reason to light things up is uh, so that you can see uh, and so that you prevent bats from spawning if you hate those little squeakers as much as I do. Uh, I'd just go ahead and finish clearing everything up. Uh, and that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this narrow passageway back here. Um, this is um, uh, this one. I'm not gonna. I don't need to partition because it's very narrow. I just put the sand and sugar canes here as a break to prevent water from flowing into this wider area. Uh, so I can uh, just hit the narrow part of the um, uh, of the uh, uh, of the passageway here. The block up. Uh, sponge up here. Now I'm going to want to get up my torches and light this as I go along uh, so that I can see. Um, guardians can still be back here. Uh, I might want to have some doors ready to throw up a barrier in case I need to uh, avoid an attack. Uh, highest flowing water block. Put up a couple of torches. Highest flowing water block. Couple of torches. And this one goes pretty fast because it is very narrow. It doesn't require very many sponges to remove the water from here. Okay, and I've already reached the, um, the end over here. I'm going to put up a, a break of sand here, uh, just as I had on the other side. Not really necessary to put it all the way to the top there, but um, uh, so that uh, uh, so now this will be the next part that I, I go in and clear out. 
Um, uh, there are a few water source blocks um, that will remain uh, if you are hitting the top uh, flowing water block here. Um, this is these are pretty easily cleared out by a bucket because there's just going to be one at a time. And I think there's one more over there. And that's it. Uh, so this section here is now uh, cleared out. I've cleared out two sides of the lower passageway already. Uh, again, probably want to throw some torches down. No need to worry about mob spawning, but um, just so you can see a little bit better. Okay, and from here, I'm going to grab my sand, and I'm going to go over to... Uh, let's throw down a jack-o'-lantern just so I can see a little bit better. Uh, here is the uh, f uh, leading edge of that uh, of the plus shape of that pillar, and that's where I'm going to want to start placing down another line of sand. So, uh, place my sand, and from here, two sugar canes uh, reach all the way to the ceiling. It's getting dark, so time to drop a jack o' lantern or two. I can al almost a, a little bit see um, uh, the break that I had put in there uh, at the end of this uh, lower passageway here uh, that was part of my procedure for, oh, there it is, now you can see a little bit better that I'm inside the sugar canes. Uh, I put that break in when I was uh, killing the Elder Guardian in the, uh, um, uh, in the pillar platform wing. Uh, over there, so um, uh, I'm going to extend this line of sand all the way to that uh, water break that I put in there, uh, those, that uh, water break of doors and cobblestone that, that you saw. Continue with sand and sugar canes, jack-o'-lanterns when it gets too dark. And almost there. Now the, uh, the water break that I put in here is not a complete water break. So um, it does uh, uh, completely go up to the ceiling over here, um, but over here not. There's a little bit of a gap. I didn't need to fill this gap when I was uh, killing the Elder Guardian over here because the Elder Guardian is not large enough to fit through here. Uh, but now that I'm clearing the water from, uh, uh, from the lower passageway, uh, I'm going to want to uh, fill that up so I don't have water spilling from that wing into the lower passageway as I'm trying to remove water. So uh, up here I can place sand or uh, cobblestone or whatever I want just to fill the, those three blocks to make sure that water's not spilling over. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and return to the um, uh, return to the plus uh, shaped pillar uh, all the way down at the end. So uh, here's where I left off with the back side of the lower passageway, and now I'm coming over the other side to the uh, other uh, other wing. Um, got my sponges ready. Uh, I'm going to do the inside uh, area first. Um, highest flowing water block, but not all the way up at the top here. Uh, you could do it all the way at the top, I just choose not to, it's a little bit more efficient. Okay, highest flowing water block. And it's pretty fast, pretty safe. Um, doesn't require uh, doesn't require a whole lot of work here. Okay, and uh, I think that there's uh, maybe one or two source blocks uh, remaining. It looks like that there's a considerable amount of uh, uh, of source blocks of water, kind of in the middle there. A little bit hard to see. Okay, there's that one. Just a few left over. Can just remove these with a bucket. And now um, here is uh, where I need to kind of wrap around the pillar. I didn't add uh, sand and sugar canes here because it's not really necessary. Uh, this is only uh, only um, a couple of blocks wide, so it doesn't let a whole lot of water through. 
Okay, there's a sand block over there in the corner. Um, I'll get that later. Or, or sorry, there's a water block over in the corner. I'll get, I'll get that later. Uh, and um, I'm going to return to my sugar canes here just for removing, uh, removing the rest of this so I don't have to fight this water current. Okay, so highest flowing water block. Highest flowing water block. And keep going all the way down. Okay, um, like I said, there's a water source block uh, back in the corner there. I'm just going to grab that with a bucket here. Okay. And uh, and that's it. Uh, the entire lower passageway is um, is cleared. Probably want to light this up as I remove these jack-o'-lanterns uh, because, uh, again, there are no sea lanterns here to light anything. Uh, and uh, from here, I'm going to uh, finish draining the rest of the water uh, from the uh, interior of the ocean monument by draining uh, that uh, that other wing, uh, the uh, uh, the pillar platform wing over there. Uh, and that is it then for this video. In the next video, I'll be uh, clearing out the water from there. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, please leave a note in the comments.